Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now in today's video we are going to take our final look at the werewolves here in the Hunter Classic for 2021 and I decided to break out the crossbow pistol and basically just see how this amazing looking crossbow does against the werewolves. You can see this is the wolfsbane crossbow which is really awesome with the couple of wolf heads on it there and I am just using the iron sights and of course as well we have the, the runes on this crossbow that glow green it's a really awesome looking crossbow and it does a really really good job on the werewolves so to start off we're gonna have a little compilation of me shooting the werewolves with this crossbow and basically just seeing how it does against them
So as you can see from all of those clips, I really did have a good time dropping a good number of werewolves with this crossbow. However, this particular clip was my favourite from the entire time I used this crossbow, because that initial shot was not great on this werewolf, but as it fled into the distance I did decide to take a secondary shot at it, and to my complete and utter shock I actually somehow dropped it in its tracks as it was running away which I just couldn't believe that I'd actually managed to do. So yeah, this was definitely the favourite highlight out of all of the werewolves I shot with this crossbow, as well as getting the 375 male, which was pretty good. But you can see that secondary shot at 41 metres went through its hip all the way through to its brain, which was pretty awesome. So that is going to be it for this year's look at the werewolves in the Hunter Classic. I am very much looking forward to the next event animals that will be in the game, hopefully around Christmas time. So yeah, that's going to be that for the year. So moving on now from the werewolves. And actually during the event's duration, I was actually on Himmeldahl where I was hunting for a couple of the competitions. Now I was at this bear barrel here, which is my absolute favourite spot in this entire game. I love this bear barrel, it's always a really good spot for me. And I talk about this spot a lot because it gets reindeer coming in from these two directions and it also gets roe deer, lynx, of course it gets the brown bear and it, it sometimes gets moose as well. It gets a really good diversity of animals and yeah, it, is, it has turned up some pretty nice things for me in the past. And that's basically why I decided to come to this bear barrel because there was a competition for your highest uh, average score across three roe deer and then there was one for the biggest brown bear shot with a bow. So for those both of those competitions I came out to Hemeldahl. This ended up being the biggest brown bear I actually managed to get. He wasn't that big, good weight on him, but not that big at 27.0425. And at the time that was 7th in the comp, but unfortunately he did not place and I also did not place in the roe deer competition. However, this bear barrel, as I mentioned, really never fails to surprise me. And I mentioned that I get quite a, quite a good number of reindeer coming through the area. Well, hopefully these next few clips are going to demonstrate that, as I actually ended up spotting my best ever reindeer so far, as well as something really cool that I cannot wait to show you guys a little bit later in the video. But starting off, as you can see, we do have a group of reindeer coming into this bear barrel again as I am sat up here in the stand and I always call out for reindeer, roe deer and lynx and I always do put out a couple of moose calls as well just in case there's any in the area. But just look at the size of this pull and I knew he probably was not a 600 based off of the pictures of 600 plus reindeer that I'd seen but he was definitely the biggest one I've ever seen and so I had to get him down. Now, unfortunately, he did spook there, and I really don't have any idea why, as normally the reindeer will come and stand directly underneath the tree stand, no problems at all. But seeing as he is the biggest one I'd ever seen, I knew I had to track him down and try and drop him. Now, thankfully, I did have my Winter Camo 300 on me, just in case something like this was to happen. So I did track him down, and just look at that beast. What an incredible looking animal. Honestly, they are just, just amazing. And I really love the fact that in Classic, the reindeer can actually have broken antlers. And you may notice this guy has actually broken off one of the paddles on his right side as you're looking at him straight on. And as he gave me that broadside shot there, I did manage to drop him with the 300. You can see him just sliding down the hill there. But even with that broken paddle, he still looks incredible. What an amazing looking bull. And as I said, I knew that this guy, this guy probably wouldn't score where I wanted him to, because I would love a 600 plus. And he is only a 533 on the dot, which is not anywhere near mounter, but still a really awesome bull. And talking of really awesome bulls, we also have this guy coming into the stand. Now, I decided to actually use the 300 on this guy before he had a chance to flee off anywhere, purely because, again, it's a really... It's a quality ball, even though I knew he probably wasn't going to score that high. And basically, all the other animals around me were just females at this point. So I figured I would drop this guy, pick up everything else, and then move on. And he is only a 485.3779, but still, 
again, a really quality ball, especially just from calling them into this bear barrel. Honestly, for not even hunting for, rei for reindeer, I really cannot complain at the size of the balls that just turn up at this location. Now, moving on to the really special animal in this video, and you will have just been seeing her on screen there. That is a rare reindeer. And rare reindeer in classic are extremely rare. And honestly, the sh <laughs> I nearly shrieked when I saw a pure white reindeer coming down that hill. And unfortunately, they did exactly the same thing. They came into the barrel and spooked. But I did know that there was a lynx in the area that had just called. So I'm not sure if that actually made them spook off. But I spent about an hour tracking this reindeer down. And she was just a pain to track. Eventually, the group was sort of all caught back up with each other and they slowed down and I managed to finally find them. And they were very near the edge of the reserve. And in classic, reindeer will roam in and out of the reserve. So I was really lucky that these guys just didn't head straight out because I would have been so gutted if I'd lost this incredible rare. I have always wanted a rare reindeer in classic. It's been one of my goals. And I just did not think I would achieve it just by being sat at that bear barrel and occasionally throwing out calls for the reindeer. Now the bull in this herd is incredibly unimpressive, but the reason I'm using the antler rattler is because in classic you have to call in the lead bull of the herd to actually call in the females. So by calling him in using that antler rattler, I'm calling in the females too because they will follow him in. And as you can see, he's really not anything to write home about. He's a very small bull. And in fact, the female, this rare female, actually to me looks better than this guy. She just looks really good for a female reindeer, which is awesome. The female reindeer in this game look can look really good. And she is actually a particularly big female as well. And you can compare her to that smaller female behind her. She's a much nicer looking animal. But that shot dropped her on the spot with the 300. She wasn't going anywhere. And I was so relieved. That was the, one of the most intense tracks I have had in this entire game. And you can see on the hunter mate there that I actually have the reserve line, like where the reserve ends in sight on the hunter mate they were that close to being gone and honestly i would have i would have kept hunting forever to try and get this thing but i'm just so lucky that i managed to catch them before they actually went out now i wasn't sure if she was actually a leucistic or an albino i was thinking probably a leucistic based off of the fact she had black hooves but I was just trying to claim her here in the light. And actually she is a leucistic, rarity leucistic. But 322.3387 for a female reindeer is really not bad. And that is just a gorgeous looking animal. And honestly one of my favourite harvests in the entire time I've played the Hunter Classic. And it has kind of want made me want to hunt reindeer even more in search of a 600 plus and as well if we do get rudolph again at christmas it would be useful to level up my reindeer tracking and spotting for that so yeah i'm i'm probably going to spend some more time on classic hunting reindeer in the coming months in sort of in preparation for that and hopefully in search of a really monster bull or some more rares but that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've been so excited waiting to put out about getting this rare reindeer. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and for your support. As always, I always appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.